So in this short tutorial, we are going to understand the importance of X forward for header when we are working with LB. So think about the situation you are accessing an EC2 instance uh, in cloud where Nginx is deployed. In the Nginx logs, the client IP is recorded. All right. Uh, however, the problem occurs when you are accessing the same setup uh, using the application load balancer. The issue is like when the request goes to load balancer, it terminates the original request and it starts a fresh request to this EC2 instance. So which means when Nginx records the IP address, it does not have the IP address in that particular field for, for the client, but it has the IP address of a load balancer. So that problem is solved by X forwarded for. So before um, going further, let's understand the architecture. I am in a VPC in AP Southeast 1 region, that's Singapore region. I have two AZs, AZA and AZB, and there are two public subnets because the route table they are associated, the default routing is to the internet gateway, which means they get the public connectivity. And I have also deployed a load balancer in this VPC, and uh, the association for the subnets I have given to these two uh, public subnets. So this is my setup and now let's understand it with a demo. Alright, um, so I'm in my uh, EC2 instance and let me quickly show it to you. This is my EC2 instance with a public IP and with 215.240 and a private IP ending with 0 0.237. That's what you see over here. So I'm gonna uh, tail the Nginx logs and clear it off. On the left side, I am on my Mac machine. This is my Mac. And on the right side, I am going to SSH uh, to this EC2 instance. Perfect. So now, um, if I hit curl x get http colon slash slash and this public ip so this public ip we see that it records the ip address and this ip address is of my machine because if you if i go to what is my ip.com this matches uh, with the record over here so now we can see when we are hitting um, and Nginx, Nginx can record the client IP. Now let's try the same exercise, but this time from a different machine. So I'm, I have access to the same machine over here and hit the same command. Okay, and then I clear my logs first. And when I hit it, and this time you see, it records a different IP. And what is this IP is nothing but the EC2 instance IP itself. So ending with 215.240. Alright, so now we can see um, that this um, Nginx can record uh, the client IP address and in fact if we see the default format, just google it, you know, a few links I, I see, this is the default format. The first field is the remote address from the request where it's coming from and at the last it's X for or don't worry about it, we'll see it in a moment. So what it means is let's say if I am hitting the same thing and I pass a header uh, for X forwarded for and let's give it testing. Okay, let me clear the logs first and hit enter. I'm sorry, um, enter. So now we see at the last uh, this header is recorded. And if you just uh, try to give a different header, so I just uh, uh, change with one, two, three. Let me clear my screen and let me again hit um, the same URL, but this time with x forward 4 and I just uh, you know tamper it so which means this will not be recorded if I hit enter um, one more time so you will see this doesn't come over here anyway so um, so we see uh, if this header is coming in the next can record it at the last based on this format now let's go to my ALB so this is the ALB I have created and this points to the same EC2 instance. Let me copy this. Get back to the architecture diagram and here if the request is sent to ALB, what ALB does, it creates a new request and in this uh, the IP address of ALB is recorded and not the client IP. However, ALB can 
take out the client IP and append it into a X formatted for and send the request over here which means uh, when the request is coming via ALB the IP address of a client machine is recorded in the X formatted for header and that's what we are going to see now we go here we see the load balancer uh, we copy DNS name. in fact let's quickly see the edit attributes okay and here you see X forward for header and this is the default behavior is append that so let's go back here I'm in my machine let me clear off everything clear the logs and curl hyphen X get P colon slash slash and paste by my load balancer hit enter now you see this is the IP address this is the internal IP address of the load balancer but the client IP which is my machine gets printed at the last all right so um, this is everything about x44 I hope you have enjoyed the video and learned something new if 